All right, uh, I will make a short uh, vlog today, just a few minutes long, I think. Uh, we have a track day coming up on Saturday. It's uh, three days from now, so um, I thought I could make a short, short video of what I used to bring to the track, uh, like just essential tools and stuff that can be good to have if when you go to a track session, you know. Uh, so I have um, normally I pack everything in like bag like this, and. Uh, it's nothing really fancy at all. I mean, I'm not a professional driver or anything. I just, I just have basic kit with me. And uh, I can walk you through everything. Uh, this, uh, some extra uh, gas. Uh, not that you normally need it, but sometimes if you, for some reason, miscalculate how much uh, gas you have in the tank, and uh, you need to refill. Uh, you can just put the put some extra gas inside, and you don't need to go to a gas station. Uh, this is actually engine oil, the same as I have in Integra. It's uh, Motol uh, 300V. Mm, don't remember the viscosity on this one, but it's it's a good good oil. This is actually nothing that you will ever. <laughs> <laughs> I think you need on the on a track session, but this is just uh, if you're gonna go clean the car, take uh, like uh, asphalt and stuff away. Uh, here we have some liquid to clean uh, the window. Uh, you need good visibility, of course. And if you have like camera inside the car and you you want like a clean window, and this is. Uh, also to to flush the I'd say to clean the window. In the, I don't know what to say in English, but you have, you have it anyway. This is uh, extra brake fluid. This is some steering fluid, and this is uh, if you need to change some settings and uh, a screw a bolt or something is stuck, you can just spray this on and hopefully it come off more easy. This is. Uh, cooling liquid. Uh, for track session we can normally use something called wetter water or something or maybe water wetter I don't remember which way you pronounce it. It's also motor and it's instead of regular uh, cooling fluid you can use it. The benefit with wetter water is, is not that it only cool very good but if you have a leakage on the track uh, you don't need to sanitize the track after. You can just uh, let it dry up by itself. So this I used to pack in one bag. The uh, reason I have it like in the bag is not kind of bumping around when I drive the car to and back from the track. And uh, when I take everything out, I just grab a bag and take it out. And same way I put it inside. In uh, the other one, I have like basic tools, a lot of different tools. Uh, this is. Uh, Compressor if I want to change the tire pressure and some paper and other paper rest on other tools and uh, yeah I forgot you also need uh, you need um, cover under the car I will, I will go get it right okay uh, you can see here this is the cover we have under the car. And it's like thick, so if you have an oil leak or something, you, 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 the, the oil will not uh, come out in the depot or something like this. Uh, in Sweden you can buy this for around 100 US dollar in a place called uh, Biltema. Very good. Also has, has a chain inside this, inside this lining here. So when you pull it out, the wind will not uh, take it away. I also use one of these when I'm in the depot to put uh, under the car. Uh, because if you have been on the track and driven on one session, you, you don't want to uh, use the e-brake in the depot. So I used to put this under to 
make sure the car doesn't roll away. And this is what I mean with the water better. I don't know how it is pronounced. Instead of a regular uh, cooling liquid. And it's uh, actually recommended. I, I just haven't had time to change in the Integra. But uh, hopefully no accident will happen. But you never know. Uh, and as I said, the benefit with this one, if, if you have a leakage, there, there's no really need to sanitate the track after, so this will just dry away. Um, yeah, I forgot. Uh, this week I actually saw another YouTube clip. No, actually it was a Facebook clip of a guy having a fire exting... Fire extinction, sorry. Wrong slack. I can't. I don't know how to. <laughs> I don't know how to say. Uh, you take make, take up fire with it anyway. And I will open this. I actually ordered it two, two days ago and arrived today. Okay, show it. Yeah. Like this. And this is. Uh, Of course, to take uh, take up any fire, and uh, what I hear about this one, this minimum of this small size, uh, minimum of 50 seconds of uh, uh, liquid coming out from this, or I mean some kind of gas, and it's not going to hurt uh, your engine or anything if if you spray it in the in the engine compartment. So that's a good benefit. And it's the weight is less than I think 300 gram. I mean it's like a chocolate cake. So this was I can just have in the glove compartment in the car, uh, since um, it's uh, uh, everything in this car is still still intact. And I see here it comes with a, uh, a brace. You can connect it if you want to screw it into the car. But I, I can I, I just take it in the in the glove compartment. All right, let's uh, pack and everything. Uh, yeah, I can actually say. I think uh, it's a Swedish company, I think. And you can order it from fire.se. And this one is approximately 50 US dollar. So, it's, I mean, it's, it's nothing if you have a fire in the car and you can save your car in yourself. All right. As you can see, the car is extremely dirty. <laughs> yeah. Not extreme, but very dirty. So, I think I will go and clean up. It can be nice to have a clean car when you go to a, to a track session and, and uh, you know there's going to be people taking a photo of you when you drive. <laughs> Fist like a silly girl. Alright.
Okay, I know that there is a lot of uh, hardcore car detail out there that really take care of the car in a proper way when when they clean and I don't know. I just I just want it to be decent clean. I'm not I'm not too into like clinical super clean, you know. So yeah. All right, now it uh, looks decent. I will take the water away from the window and, and go back home. So, yeah. All right. Maybe I didn't do so good clean though. <laughs> 